Hey everybody, my name is James and I'm a Renaissance guy and what that means is I like to do a lot of different things. Today I'm going to be talking to you about modifications I made to my 1436 Tracker Topper John boat. Uh, please forgive my sweatiness and my grubby clothes because I'm actually recording this video in between uh, putting a second coat of stain on that deck behind me. So let's talk about my boat. All right, so the reason I wanted to record this video, because there are a ton of videos on YouTube about folks who have modified their John boats, who have probably done a better job than me. But the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I did things a little bit different than what I've seen other people do. So I'm just gonna walk through some of the key things, uh, starting from the front and going to the back. So here up front, I've got uh, LED lights on either side, running lights, and those are operated by a switch panel that you'll see in a minute. And here is a front casting deck. And the thing that I did that I think is a little bit different from other folks is that I did not make my decks permanent. They are easily removable. Specifically, they are removable because they are simply attached with these black bungee cords to the ribs of the boat. And the reason I did this is because my goal with this build was to make this boat versatile. I don't just fish from it, though that is the main thing I do. Uh, I also pull my kids on a tube and on a kneeboard, and so I just wanted this, this boat to be as versatile and flexible as possible. If I wanted to take out some weight, I can just take off these decks. But real quick, this deck has a hatch in it. It just lifts out. I've got stuff stored in it. In this case, you can see that uh, life jacket under there, but all my life jackets uh, are stored under there along with my anchor, which is just an eight pound anchor with a rope attached to it. That helps weigh down the front a little bit. Then if we work back a little bit further, you can see I've got some other LED lights under here. These are white and these are just in case I need some light inside the boat. And then I've got this center deck here. Uh, and this center deck has this cooler built in. Most of the time I just use this as a cooler. But here come some cars, so I'm going to let them pass before I keep talking. So most of the time I just use this cooler as a cooler, but at some point I am going to add uh, a pump to it and be able to turn it into a live well if I want to use it for that purpose. But it's nice that it has cup holders. It also has these measuring uh, marks for when I catch fish, uh, so it kind of functions in a variety of ways, but I like to have a place to keep cold drinks uh, while I'm on the boat. Over here, I, I've got this strap here for strapping things down, in this case my paddle and my fishing net, and I've got one on the other side as well, and when I am trailering this thing, that is where I put my fishing poles. They get strapped underneath that so that they don't come out. And I've also got on this center deck another hatch with things in there. My fire extinguisher is in there. Uh, my own personal life jacket is in there along with a dry storage box uh, and a little cup bucket thing that I use for bailing. Uh, I've never had to use it, but in case I do, it's there. I've got my Garmin Striker 4 fish finder there. I do like that a lot. Uh, I know it's a popular one and I've seen a lot of folks asking on Facebook if it's a good one. I've been happy with it. It has the functionality that I need. And then I've got a little switch panel right here um, and these fishing pole holders. Uh, this deck, just like the front one, is attached down with bungees. And the only thing that's holding it in place is these bungees down here. And then, here children in the background. Uh, it kind of sandwiches around this uh, seat, the middle bench seat. Um, and so there's a board here and one on the other side of the bench seat that hold it in place along with the bungee cords there. Um, and one thing I did to make this thing easily removable is not just the bungee cord thing, but also those um, electrical elements that are attached to that switch panel. I used a trailer harness to connect all of the wires that are running to the switch panel into there. So all I have to do is uncouple that trailer harness and then that switch panel comes loose from all the wiring in the boat. So I'm happy with how that worked out. Here I've got my captain's chair. Right now it's folded down. If you've never seen, uh oh, I better unclip it. If you've never seen this chair before, this is a great chair. It's super comfortable. It's a Millennium Marine 
chair, it's mesh, it uh, keeps cool because it's mesh, it's extremely comfortable, it's rated for 400 pounds. I've got it on a swivel seat and I like it and I've got it mounted so that the, uh, the tiller handle can swing just behind it uh, when I'm using the motor, so I'm happy about that. And then here in the back, no real modifications to mention down here. This is just my fuel tank and my battery where everything is connected to. I've got everything run through one battery. I know that's a controversial thing, but I'm trying to keep the boat as light as possible considering all of the modifications I've done. Uh, so right now that's being used for everything in the boat. Uh, trolling motor, uh, fish finder, lights, etc. I would use it for the electric start except that uh, I used the pull handle on this rather than the electric start, but the electric start is there in case I need it. And uh, the nice thing about an electric start motor is it does charge the battery when it's in use. So, so there is that. And then the last modification, and oh, by the way, I'm using a 15 horsepower Tahatsu. The last modification here is for my transom mount trolling motor. And I use a transom mount rather than a bow mount because I'm often fishing with my kids. And because this is only a 36 inch wide boat, um, it's really not easy to juggle back and forth between the front and the back. And if I've got a kid fishing with me, they're in the front and I stay in the back. So that's why the trolling motor's on the back. But I had to rig up this bracket in order to mount this transom mount trolling motor to the back because this handle was in the way uh, and so basically this is just some pieces of wood uh, sandwiched in between plywood. This is a one by uh, or a two by four that I've made a little bit shorter. It's more like a, it's more like three inches now rather than three and a half. A piece of a quarter inch underlayment there and then three quarter inch plywood on either side. And that just slides nicely down into there and also hooks right there and that just slides in and out and I just unslide it when I don't want to use it. And then finally, I've got this boat named. This boat is the Santa Marie, named after my wife Marie, who uh, helped me buy this as a Christmas present. So Santa Marie, kind of a play on words of Santa Maria and uh, Christmas with Santa and my wife's name Marie. So happy with that name. Uh, so that's the boat. and. I have not yet done a speed test to see how fast it'll go. I'll add that uh, right after I'm done talking. But without these modifications, just this motor and uh, just a couple of things in here, the fastest I've gotten this boat up to was 27. And so we'll see how much this, uh, the weight of these things slow me down. If you have any questions about how I've built any of this, feel free to ask in the comments and let's get to a speed test. Okay, so here we are, ready to run. Let's see how fast this thing goes. Again, this is a year 2020 Tracker Topper 1436 with a model year 2020 Tahatsu 15 horsepower. And uh, I was able to do 27 miles per hour without any weight in it other than the necessities and myself. And now I've got all this stuff in it. So let's see how it does. I'll be using my GPS here for that. Right now I'm going three and a half miles an hour. Let's see how it does when I open it up. Here we go. Alright, 25.6, so I lost about one and a half miles per hour, adding the weight. And uh, in case anybody cares to know, I am using the third hole from the bottom on the trim settings. I was using the second for a while, but I added that first deck first, and when I had that first deck on it, uh, the third trim setting worked best just for how it planed and all of that. So, so yeah. 
the weight of me, I'm 165 pounds, plus the weight of these decks, this cooler, trolling motor, and more, uh, bring me down to about 25 and a half miles per hour top speed. And I don't know if you were able to see my tachometer. I got up to almost 6,100 RPMs, uh, which is about the max for this boat. So I'm feeling pretty good about how things are looking. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it, subscribe it, share it with people that you think would enjoy it. And in the meantime, have a great day.